So pretty to watch. I think that's my kind of skiing, a little bit less dangerous for myself. A widespread area, less trees, safer. Hi, everybody. Christina Laia along with you. Now, we're starting off in the Atlantic where we're getting a breather tonight, but it looks like it's going to be a messy week because there is a potential of three systems coming in. We can see here this low pressure system making its way into Nova Scotia. Now, you're seeing that green because that snow will be turning into rain in uh, areas of Nova Scotia, predominantly the southwest regions. Now the temperatures are also going to be a story because as you can see here, they are going to be changing Sunday night through Monday. They are going to be getting a lot better. You can see St. John's above zero there. That's because the next system is on its way for Tuesday. And of course there is also one pending for Thursday as well. In through Ontario, we see that low pressure system making its way through, causing some widespread snow through southern Ontario, that low pressure system coming over the Great Lakes regions. Now that may make for some mix there. So we may have some mix of rain and snow by the Great Lake regions. Now here is what we're looking at temperature wise. We have started off with some very cold temperatures Sunday, and it looks like they will be getting a little bit more mild throughout Sunday overnight, even into Monday morning. So we're not going to be feeling that cold. Now in Quebec there has been just a huge amount of snowfall. They will be getting some more snow but not as much as they saw on Friday which was a record-breaking seventh most amount of snow in the Montreal airport. Now it's time to take a look at it. what's going on in Alberta. Lopes, but definitely something quite beautiful to take a look at. Through the prairies, we are starting off mild through the week, but the temperatures are going to be getting a little colder. We can see that low pressure system coming in, and we will be looking at some widespread snow, particularly in Saskatchewan and Manitoba. Now here it comes, winter fighting back, like I mentioned, starting off the week with those mild temperatures going to be get getting colder throughout the week as that Arctic air is pushing on in. It's going to be actually a little bit colder than seasonal norms, but on the West Coast, we are enjoying a couple days of sunshine and dry weather as that high pressure system is coming in and really blocking a lot of that active weather and precipitation that we have been seeing. Here's a look at your seven days for Vancouver. Slight chance of, cha of showers by Tuesday, dry by Friday. Uh, the West Coast is enjoying some dry skies and sunshine, if you like that. Hi everybody, Christina Laia along with you. We can see here that this high pressure system coming in is really blocking a lot of that active weather. So we will be having uh, some drier conditions and some sunshine. Although on Tuesday we can see here uh, this precipitation forging in, so there is a chance of showers on Tuesday, but drier conditions will return for Friday. Now in the prairies, we are starting off the week with mild temperatures However, that's not going to be the case throughout the week because we can see this Arctic air forging in. This is going to cause some colder temperatures. In fact, we will be living with some temperatures well below seasonal norms. We can see here in Ontario that we have been living through some widespread snow and these temperatures will be changing as well, getting a little bit more mild as that snow comes. We're not going to be feeling those frigid temperatures that we were feeling on Sunday. That should all clear out by Monday. We can see that low pressure system coming in here and that's been the cause of that widespread snow in Ontario. Now if you're by the Great Lakes regions then there is that chance that mix of snow and rain. Quebec will be seeing some snow as well but not nothing like they saw last Friday. For now here's Tyler Hamilton on how fast you can get from the US to the UK. Monday clearing up with some better temperatures. Hi everybody Christina Laia along with you. Now we can see that low pressure system coming in coming in over the Great Lakes, that is what's causing that active weather. Now we're going to be seeing about two to five centimeters in southern Ontario. And right here where you can see this green area, we are looking at that mixture. So we may be seeing some rain with that snow, so some wet conditions in the Niagara region and along the Great Lakes. Temperature wise, we started off our Sunday with very cold temperatures and they will be becoming more mild throughout the overnight into Monday morning. We can see here Toronto above zero uh, and London right at zero. Now, the storm 
track system in the Atlantic. Uh, they did get a breather for Sunday, but it looks like three systems are on their way. Starting off with the first system coming in Monday, we're seeing that low pressure system come in, bringing snow to Nova Scotia, will be turning to rain in several areas, and the remaining areas will have some snow. Here is some massive flooding, a story on it in Oregon. Well, one of our favorite segments here at the Weather Network is broadcasting uh, photos and videos of our viewers' beautiful pets. Thank you for sending us those beautiful videos. And please remember, we love to broadcast those animal videos every week here Sunday at the Weather Network. Looks like there's going to be another system coming to the Atlantic. Locals, up now. Well, shooting stars are typically something of a nighttime phenomenon, but that wasn't the case in Alberta on Saturday night. So take a look at this thing in the snow. Hi everybody, Christina Laya along with you. Now we definitely are seeing some widespread snow throughout Southern Ontario. It's not just snow on the lakeshore because along the lakeshore regions, as you can see here in the green, we do have that chance of that wet snow mix. So you definitely want to be aware of that if you happen to be driving in that area. That should be cleared up for the Greater Toronto Area by Monday. However, may linger throughout St. Catharines and Kingston. Here we have that low pressure system coming in, causing that widespread snow and of course uh, that chance of rain along the lake shores. Overnight, our temperatures are going to be changing as we are receiving that snow. Uh, we have been living through some quite cold temperatures, but it looks like Toronto will be at plus one for Monday morning. As far as your snowfall accumulations, here's what it's going to look like. Toronto receiving around five centimeters, majority of snow, five to ten centimeters around North Bay. And here's your seven day forecast. Clear skies for Monday at plus four as we head towards Valentine's Day. Check Check this out, Friday, sun but minus 10 will feel like minus 19. May not be the warmest Valentine's Day. And here's how we're getting to that Valentine's Day chill. Some high pressure coming in, blocking in that active weather. Arctic air making it feel very cold. For now, let's take a look at some winter driving tips from Mark Robinson and Tyler Hamilton. Well, this was the scene during uh, the Sunday evening Oscar Awards, Hollywood's most prestigious event and Los Angeles just full of rain and hail and lots of scrambling there to get that red carpet up and going. By the way, it's not the first time, it's not that uncommon, 17 times there's been rain at the Oscars. Hi everybody, Christina Laya along with you now. Our story starts here on the Atlantic Coast where it's all about the systems that we are expecting to come. Now that low pressure system, we can see that coming in on Monday, getting a breather for Sunday, that system comes into Nova Scotia, comes in that snow, turning into rain for uh, southwestern regions and for the rest of the areas that will be remaining uh, snow. Now, Sunday evening, we can also see here the temperatures are starting to change with that system come in. They're going to be a little bit milder through Monday morning. We can see Frederick Twin uh, right at zero there in St. John's at zero as well. Now in Ontario, of course, there is that low pressure system we've been talking about coming into the region off the Great Lakes. We can also see this green here. This lets us know that amongst, amongst the snow, there also may be some rain. This primarily along the uh, Great Lakes, so you want to be aware of that. Uh, possibility for that mixture of wet rain and snow. This will also cause a temperature change. We have been going through those pretty cold frigid temperatures but they are going to feel a little bit more mild come Monday morning when the precipitation should all be cleared out so we're not looking at a messy commute for Monday throughout the greater Toronto area. In the prairies we are looking at that low pressure system come in and causing some widespread snow. Now the week starts off with mild temperatures as we can see here uh, this Arctic air come in and is going to be causing some colder temperatures. Speaking of Antarctica, our very own Kim McDonald has a story on the warmest Antarctic temperatures.